As we age, our bodies undergo changes that can significantly impact our health. One of these changes is the loss of muscle mass and strength, a phenomenon called sarcopenia. Loss of muscle mass and strength impair our balance, stability and coordination, which increases the risk of falls. According to National Center for Injury Prevention and Control, each year 36 million falls occur among older adults aged 65 and older. One out of five falls cause serious injuries such as hip fractures and head trauma. Falls are the most common cause of traumatic brain injury related deaths and hospital admissions among older adults. Regular exercise routine is great for older adults to improve overall health and maintain independence. However, when we think about exercise for older adults or physical activity, we often think about things such as walking, stretching, movement or some type of uh, cardiovascular activity. However, in order to lower the risk for muscle mass loss and to maintain strength and independence, it is crucial to incorporate resistant training into an uh, older adult's routine. Resistant training or strength training is a form of exercise that involves weight training or resistance to increase strength and muscle mass. Resistant training can also involve free weights such as dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, also weight machines, resistance bands, or even just your body weight. One of the main benefits of resistant training for older adults is that it helps to build and maintain muscle. As we age, we naturally lose muscle mass, which can lead to weakness, frailty and increased risk of falls and other injuries. Resistant training helps to counteract this loss of muscle mass by stimulating the muscles to grow and become stronger. In addition to building strength and muscle mass, strength training has other benefits for overall health and well-being for older adults. Strength training is also beneficial to improve stability, balance, range of motion, lowers the risk for cardiovascular issues and diabetes, and also improves the body composition. So by incorporating resistant training into their exercise routine, older adults can improve their physical fitness, reduce the risk for injury, maintain a physical independence and enjoy a better quality of life during their golden years. Now, my recommendations for resistant training for older adults depends from the individual experience, fitness level and health. However, I would recommend first to consult with the doctor to make sure that you are free to exercise safely and you don't have any restrictions in certain ranges of motion. If you are a complete beginner, I would recommend to start with very light weights even incorporating body weight movements and focus on proper form, making sure that you are completing those exercises correctly and then gradually over time increasing the intensity. Focus on multi-muscle group movements such as a squat, a hip hinge, some type of a unilateral movement such as a back step up and also a vertical and horizontal press and pull carrying movements and rotational movements. I would also suggest to hire a coach that can help you keep you safe, teach you a proper form, and then gradually increase your intensity and making sure that you are progressing safely. But overall, start slowly and then build up from there. The recommendations are between two to three times a week, but that's obviously also gonna uh, depends from the individual. But overall, resistant training is a great way for our older, older adults to maintain independence, strength, and be healthy.